we have had um, a, 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 a instrument, a small instrument, what we call a loop recorder, available to us uh, in the past couple of years that allow us to make the diagnosis of atrial fibrillation a lot better. Um, so it would help us to uh, make the diagnosis of how a patient has a stroke. So here is a, um, what a, um, a, a recorder looks like, which is very small, that we can put it under the skin. It only takes about five minutes. What, what it does is that it can record a patient's rhythm all the time. And if a patient go into atrial fibrillation, which is one of the main reasons that can cause a stroke, we would know it right away, we would know it the next day, and with that, with that information, then we can tailor the treatment of atrial fibrillation either by medicine or by procedure that can reduce the atrial fibrillation and more importantly, we can also pay, put patient on a medication called blood thinner to thin out the blood to minimize the risk of stroke. So this type of recorder, again, is implanted right under the skin. It does run on battery, and with the technology that we have now, the, the battery actually lasts for a long time. It can last up to three years. So it's, it's quite automatic with a patient who has a recorder. By the time the patient goes home, they would also have a little box, like a transmitter, that they can bring home and set it up usually by the bed stand. And at least once a day, when the patient goes to sleep, the information from the link would be collected. And any abnormal information would be sent to us right away in real time for us to help to make the diagnosis for, for the patient who has, who has very rare symptoms. Uh, some, one of the examples is atrial fibrillation. Some of the patients are extremely symptomatic with atrial fibrillation, they would know it right away. However, there are some patients who has no idea that they're in atrial fibrillation. So especially with that group of patients, they could have an atrial fibrillation once a month if we do not have a recorder that can last for a long time, we would not be able to make the diagnosis and treat the patients. It makes the diagnosis of the previous extremely difficult case a lot easier. So if the patient only have the symptoms once every few months, previously we were not able to make the diagnosis because most of the external recorder only lasts for a week or two. With this type of recorder, we can leave it in the patient for three years. So allow us to, um, um, to make the diagnosis if the patient has very rare symptoms.